Our plan for the day was to visit Scrub Island, an uninhabited slab of limestone just off the coast of Anguilla. We anchored off the beach and set off on foot to explore. True to its name, the island was covered in scrub. Low vegetation, battered by the wind and parched under the tropical sun. All around us were trees and plants twisted into unusual forms, clinging to the rocks and clinging to survival, making a home where it seemed all but impossible. Animals too were surviving on this island. The grasshopper, the jumping spider, and the robber fly, a swift and nimble predator that patrols the skies for insect prey. This ground lizard, found on only a few islands, was foraging for ants and other insects. Although the island is uninhabited, mankind has left his mark, here as he does everywhere. A small abandoned building, the rusted scraps of cars, trash washed in on the waves, and the little furry disaster we brought with us everywhere, the rat. Mael spotted a plane and we went to explore. A crash landing, it seems, the wreckage was stripped of anything of value long ago. I guess we'll have to take the boat back today. We find a road of sorts and head back towards the beach. On the way, we find many structures that seem to be wells or open cisterns created to hold rainwater. One looks like it once had a roof, another still has a bit of water. We arrive at a city of hermit crabs. They seem to be feeding on the algae from the shade of a banyan tree. Next, we discover a pond, surprisingly large. In the shallows, we see what seems to be a dead turtle. After crawling up the beach to nest, she must have become disoriented, heading the wrong way down the dune and becoming trapped in this pond, a fatal mistake. To our surprise, she's still alive. We realize we must get her out to sea. Too heavy for us to carry, I keep her near the shore while Mael runs for help. She seems to be a loggerhead, a species rarely seen in this part of the world. With the rest of the team and an improvised stretcher, we are able to lift and carry her. She is one heavy turtle. The short walk to the beach seems like forever. Nearing the beach, she seems to sense the sea, rushing towards it with her great flippers. We helped her reach the water's edge and a wave welcomed her in, free at last. The team savored the moment, an adventure we will all remember a job well done, our new friend seems to wave a flipper in thanks as she makes her way out into the blue.